Hi, this is Royce Eddings, and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, Royce in the House, and our playlist, Vinyl Album Unboxing, where we're going to be opening new vinyl albums up, also showing some old vinyl albums. We want to show some vintage vinyl albums. We want to show some of the originals, original pressings, old vinyl albums. We want to unbox some brand new ones as well. So tonight, we're going to, our featured albums are going to be Credence Clearwater Revival. Now, I have two albums here that were made in 1969, and one of them is the very first eight track I'd ever bought, and that is uh, Bayou Country, and I love Bayou Country. I didn't think they could ever top that, but it actually turned out not to be their number one album of all time. That turned out to be Green River, and we're going to take a look at both of them tonight. First of all, we're going to look at, this is Bayou Country, and I absolutely love this Credence Clearwater, CCNR, a lot of people like to call them. This CCNR vinyl album, I absolutely love this. Again, it was the first eight track I ever bought was Bayou Country. Great songs, Born on the Bayou, Keep on Chuglin. Oh gosh, what else is here? You've got Bootleg, Graveyard Train, that was a fantastic song. Uh, Good Golly Miss Molly, Penthouse Popper, Proud Mary, Proud Mary's on here. Uh, and keep on chugling, which I already mentioned. But this was a, this was a great, great album. I the, I bought it originally as a as an eight track. It was the very first eight track. I actually I bought two of them that day. Just put an eight track uh, stereo in my '55 Chevy. Had the little light bar that pulsated to the beat down below, and I bought uh, Bayou Country and Israeli Gears by the Cream, eight tracks, both at the same time. Those first two eight tracks I ever bought. Okay, here we are. This is uh, original pressing. Let me get her turned around so you can see it. The vinyl is in just absolutely almost new condition. 1969 Fantasy Records. Almost brand new looking vinyl. It actually, it does look brand new. I can't find a mark on it anywhere. 1969 Fantasy Records. Credence Clearwater Bayou Country. All right. Loved it. I still listen to this stuff regularly. I really like it a lot. Okay, that was Bayou Country. That was their fourth biggest seller. For some reason, I had it in my head until recently that it was the number one biggest seller, Bayou Country. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show is the number one seller Creedence Clearwater ever had, which is Green River. This also came out in 1969. Two of them came out in 1969. So this, this, is, a, this is absolutely amazing as well. And uh, we're going to read the songs on it. We've got uh, Green River, of course. That was a big hit. Uh, oh, it's kind of small writing here. <laughs> um, commotion. You know what? Let me let me pull it out and take a look. Might be easier to read off the album itself. That's really very tiny writing here. <laughs> it's just almost impossible to read. Okay, so Green River. Yeah, this is better. Fantasy Records. Let's take a look at the vinyl. I think you'll agree that, uh, again, once again, there really isn't a mark on either one of these. 1969, original pressing, Green River. Okay, let's take a look now. Maybe we can read the songs a little better. Bad Moon Arising, great song, love that song. Um, Cross Tie Walker, Sinister Purposes, <laughs> The Night is the Right Time. Okay, that's one side. The other side is Green River Commotion, Tombstone Shadow, and wrote a song for everyone. Okay, so this this was actually the number one seller for Creedence Clearwater Revival. Okay, so that's a couple of old ones I wanted to show you, stuff that I was listening to when I was a teenager. And um, now we're going to do an unboxing of a new, new Creedence. Not new songs, but a new new out al new album. Okay, so this one is Credence Clearwater Chronicles. Never been opened. It's got colored vinyl. Credence Clearwater Chronicles. On this, now listen to the songs on this one. These are going to bring back some great memories. We've got Susie Q. I put a spell on you. <laughs> Proud Mary. Bad Moon Arising. Lodi, Stuck in Old Lodi again, Green River, Commotion, 
down on the corner. I mean, we all remember that. Down on the corner, out in the street, Willie Laporte. Okay. Down on the corner, Fortunate Son, Traveling Band. Okay, that's one album. It's a double album set. Then we've got Who'll Stop the Rain, another really good song. Up Around the Bend, Run Through the Jungle. That was a big hit. Look It Out My Back Door, same thing. Long As I Can See the Light. I heard it through the grapevine. Now I, I got to tell you, I never any I never thought anybody would try to do. I heard it through the grapevine. Marvin Gaye, I mean that song when it came out, I think it played twenty four hours a day everywhere you went was Marvin Gaye and I heard it through the grapevine. That was one of my favorite songs. That was soul music. I was a huge fan of soul music. Uh, we listened to that a lot. So, but these guys came out with I heard it through the grapevine. It took me a little while to warm up to it because I love Marvin Gaye so much. But I actually love their version of I Heard Through the Grapevine. It's probably about 10 minutes long, too. Uh, have you ever seen The Rain? Hey Tonight, Sweet Hitchhiker, and Someday Never Comes. These are just great songs. I'm going to open this up. We're going to take a look at the vinyl. And uh, once again, thanks for coming on. We'd like to eventually turn this into a podcast where we have guests. And uh, it won't be just records and albums. It'll be much bigger variety actually but uh the main thing is that we have fun everybody laughs and what have you okay so here is fantasy records credence clearwater revival in purple splattered vinyl of course i just took this out it's never been opened purple splattered vinyl fantasy records Wow, I mean, that's that's pretty. I'll put that away now. Boy, I hurt myself. Okay, Creedence Clearwater Chronicles. 20 greatest hits, they're saying. And, it, and it's true. Okay, let's pull the next one out. Once again, purple splattered vinyl. <laughs> wow, check that out. Is that amazing? Very transparent. Or maybe I should try, say translucent, but uh, very nice. I can see I can see uh, I can see the Godfather on my T-shirt, my Italian T-shirt. Um, bought that this T-shirt in Italy. Okay, well, thank you for joining me. Behind me is part of my vinyl collection. We'll take the uh, take the camera over here. Take a look. We've got got some stuff on the table here. On the desk, got some Beatles stuff right in front. Then we come over here, and we've got uh, we've got a lot of stuff actually. Yeah, Ray Charles and Bob Dylan, the Beatles, Rubber Soul. We got we got uh, Queen, Queen, A Night at the Opera, Original Press. Same with the uh, Fleetwood Mac, Original Press. Of course, Prince is over here. We got uh, Black Sabbath, Paranoid, The Who, Meaty, Meaty, <laughs> Meaty, Beaty, Big and Bouncy. That's a, that's a mouthful. And then again, Rubber Soul and Bob Dylan. All right. So let's set this back over here. Once again, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing and a little conversation about the albums. And we'll see if my remote's going to work now. Royce in the House, Vinyl Album Unboxing. Step in and see us.